by me mismanaging my clock, uh, it was my fault that I didn't take uh, that I didn't take better better precautions to to get up here on time. What's up, guys? Lockout men here in the back of the truck. Man, I guess you guys never seen me set up before. That's what I'm doing here. I'm setting up my uh, setting up my computer, and I wanna I wanna talk about a little incident that I was involved in before I get into today's topic. Uh, today's topic is kind of is kind of heartbreaking again. Again, another another heartbreaking topic. Just got finished talking about uh, the young man Nipsey Hussle and uh, what happened to him, only to receive a video uh, that was much more disturbing. So, but you, this little this little part right here, I just want to go over uh, go over what happened to me. Uh, and hopefully help you guys not to get in the same situation. Here it is, check it out. So I had a load that came up here to uh, New York and, wait, I could have sworn I had a power outlet for this thing. I got a, I had a load that was picked, that picked up from Minnesota the terminal and that was needed to come down here or up here to upstate New York unfortunately as you guys can see I made it up here to the new to New York but unfortunately I got up here a little late and now I'm stuck up here until until Monday uh, you're an adult, man. <laughs> now, you guys might, might be wondering, like, yo, lockout man, why are you stuck? Why are you not rolling? Why you couldn't just get up here, drop it, and um, and keep on rolling? Well, that's that part right there. I, I couldn't. Uh, unfortunately, I'm up here in New York. There's pretty much nowhere for us to, you know, drop our trailers or anything like that. And... I noticed at the craft where I was at, they had a yard that, you know, I, I believe in my heart of hearts that I could have dropped my trailer there because there was another JNR Schugel trailer in the yard. Well, actually it was a couple of them in the yard. So I believe I can, I, I believe wholeheartedly that I could have, I could have dropped my trailer there for the guard that was there. He said, no, uh, I couldn't drop my trailer. <clears throat> there wasn't nobody there, you know, to sign for it. He couldn't sign for it. That's cool. That's cool. I, I said, all right, okay, that's, I said, that's cool, that's fine. All right, whatever. Yeah, you wanna get shit done, you gotta get it done yourself. Um, so I am up here in New York, stuck until Monday. So here's how, here's the breakdown on that. So I picked it up, uh, I picked it up Wednesday. Uh, I got confirmation, I, I thought it was Tuesday, but I, I picked it up Wednesday. I got up to the yard, uh, <clears throat> I got up to the yard, I was out of hours. So the way, the way I see it and the way operations sees it is probably different between the two because I was out of hours and I was on recaps. I was on recaps. So being that I'm on recaps, uh, when I made it up to New Arm, I was out of hours, so I shut it down. And then I picked up the load uh, Wednesday evening around one o'clock after, uh, after being in the shop for all day. So unfortunately, I only had mm, maybe like four hours, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure, maybe four, four hours the row. I did only two hours and I shut it down. 
So I shut it down around, uh, around, I forget what time, but what I should have did, and this is where it all comes down to managing your clock. You know what time it is. What I you know what time did, it is. I should have got out. I should have got back up and running after my at, right after my ten hour. I didn't. Uh, I didn't do that. So I didn't come and get set up properly. But I left. I drove. <clears throat> I drove. I asked my fleet manager for a PO. Now. We need authorizations to run the toll roads. We can't just, we can jump on it if, if we want to, but we will be the ones that have to pay for it. And being that we're the ones that has to pay for it, I'm not trying to pay for a $300 toll road. Indiana and Ohio toll roads are expensive. If I was to take the toll road from Indiana through Ohio, all the way up here to uh, New York, that would at least cost me about three, four hundred dollars. J.R. Schwugel <clears throat> don't like taking the Ohio toll roads unless it's up under extreme circumstances. I felt that this was kind of extreme circumstances because I would have saved at least two, maybe two and a half to three hours going around 30 then coming back up uh coming back up that was the thought <clears throat> that was the thought i couldn't get the the authorization to take the toll road so you made a decision live with your decision i got here uh i got here and sat uh took my took my half an hour my half an hour turned into an hour because you know i i took my half an hour went to go get something to eat and my, you know, my medicine start, started to work. So of course I had to take care of business with that. So I came back out to the truck, uh, checked the time, uh, checked the time. I was, I was doing good, but then the time started, started alleviated when I started hitting traffic. So when I started hitting traffic, you know, my ETA time dropped from, dropped from uh, three o'clock to 3.30 to 3.45 to the time I got there. So I got there 3.45 and boom, here we are now. I, I, I'm i gonna take the L on this <clears throat> because, you know, looking back at it, looking back, you know, after my uh, fleet manager sent me information, the way that the, uh, operations is looking at it, they, you know, they could have, they said that, yeah, even though he didn't have hours, but he had hours, you know, he took X amount of time on this day, took X amount of time on this day and X amount of time on this day. And, you know, if he didn't, if he did this or did that, or if he did this and did that and, you know, screwed it all together and all like that. So basically it was, you know, from an operations point of view. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta control your smiles and cries. Then yeah, I could have made my appointment. Unfortunately, I didn't. And you know, this is the result of, of, of me not making my appointment. It's not what you know. Look, listen, these appointments, these appointments that we gotta make, we gotta make them. They, they are important. They are important, you know, to keeping the companies happy. You know what I'm saying? Anything liable to happen, anything can happen in this trucking game. By me mismanaging my clock, uh, it was my fault that I didn't take uh, that I didn't take better better precautions to to get up here on time. So. <clears throat> This might, this might suggest, this might be a service failure for me. Well, it is not, there's no might, of, <clears throat> there's no might about it. It is a service failure for me. It's 90% bullshit. Um, of course, this is, uh, this is, you know, this is not going to be the first service failure that I ever had with this company, but this is a service failure that, uh, that is truly uh, that's truly that I'm taking the responsibility for. You gotta decide whether you're a wolf 
or a sheep. You know what I'm saying? So just to let you guys know that things always happen. It's always better to always better to manage your clock a little bit better. Now, if you know for a fact that you're not able to get the load to where it needs to go, then it's definitely up to you to let your fleet manager know that, hey, um, I won't be able to make this uh, make this appointment time or something like that. Now, usually I have a window, you know what I'm saying? And I guess I got, I got, I, I don't know. I, I guess I got, I got lazy. You know what I'm saying? Being that I have a window, you know what I'm saying? I usually have a window to get my lows to where they need to go. And by me mismanaging my clock and not paying attention to uh, the appointment times and stuff like that. I really just didn't know. Uh, I just didn't do better. So I need to do better on from now on, which, you know, which I always do. So I, you know, I need to pay more attention to, uh, to the load assignments, uh, to the appointment times, whether they have a, whether it's open or whether it's, whether it's, uh, an open appointment or a set appointment. And in this situation, it was a set appointment and I am up here. So <clears throat> with that, being that I'm up here, I am going to take advantage of this time. So now I got all this time, you know, a total of two days to get a lot of stuff done and editing the videos is one of them. So let me go ahead, get this video up for you guys right here. And uh, let me go ahead and work on uh, some other videos and um, and uh, and yeah until next time y'all take it easy yo don't forget to like subscribe comment share the videos uh, share your experiences you know what I'm saying you know I, I do more than just trucking out here you know what I'm saying so I got a lot of different subscribers uh, a lot of different interests you know base subscribers that's that's interested in 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 the content that I bring and I really do appreciate it. You want to you want to support that? You want to support that? Hook a brother up, you know what I'm saying? Hook a brother up. I got over 4,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Uh keep coming. Keep coming. Keep sharing. You know, I, obviously I'm doing something that somebody likes. I'm gone, I ain't coming back And you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back Ain't no sunshine